Ibrahim. I'm Jesse, frozen person <laughs> since act. We are here doing a piece on Eye of the Wind, British Columbia's first wind turbine. And it's a little cold, so no we're about to get off, but it's been an adventure getting up here. We just wanted to share that with you guys. But the Eye of the Wind is supposed to be pretty remarkable, very green to the area to provide energy. We're about to get off the ski lift and check it out. Thanks for joining us. Tell us how excited are you to be here for this event? Now, this is an amazing day for us up on the peak of Vancouver. We're inaugurating the Eye of the Wind, the first commercial wind turbine in Vancouver. And this is going to be a symbol for our movement towards sustainability, which is so important to all of us. Now, something like this doesn't just pop up overnight. How long have you guys been planning to do the Eye of the Wind? From the concept, which uh, came about in 2003, uh, we started our meteorological studies in 2005, and it took us uh, two years to uh, get all the approvals and, and get it built. The building part was actually the easy part. Okay. What was the hard part? The hard part was convincing people it's the right thing to do. Uh, fortunately, we had uh, leadership in our, our local council who uh, allowed us to have the opportunity, and I think people are going to be wowed by it. Yeah, Vancouver seems to be a very green city. You know, How tough has that been to kind of get people to convert to want to be green? Well, I think there's a natural propensity to be green, uh, but also there's a certain amount of caution that comes with that. And doing something as audacious as we've done here wasn't easy for people to accept at first, uh, but since it's gone up, we've had nothing but positive feedback. Jesse, we made it up here to the middle of the eye of the wind. It took a little time, but we did it. It's true. We're officially just over 4,100 feet above the town of Vancouver, 215 feet up in the eye of the wind. That's right. And the eye of the wind is Vancouver's first wind energy turbine. And it's interesting. It produces enough energy to provide electricity to over 400 homes in Vancouver. Really the first of its kind. There's no gears. It's very, very quiet in here. That's right. And the blades, each weighing over 12,000 pounds, each are 120 feet long. I think that's pretty insane. That's crazy. And we're supposed to be, like you said, we're standing here inside the eye of it. We're supposed to be able to look out at panoramic views, but it's a little foggy and, uh, and cloudy today, so the views aren't that great. That's right. It's tough. But I'll tell you what, it's, it's amazing to be this high up in the air and actually know that, you know, you feel kind of safe. This mm -hmm. tower is embedded over 50 feet into the ground into solid granite. Yeah, we took an elevator ride up here just so we could get this far. It really is um, quite a feat, quite a structure. No doubt. And the structure also has the distinction of being the first commercial wind turbine in the lower mainland and forever changes the face of alternative energy in British Columbia. That's right, Lala. And the Mountains Project partner is actually based out of Italy, and there are over nine countries that are represented in uh, the development of the Eye of the Wind. So it's totally in keeping with the theme of the Olympics here of uh, bringing the world together. This just wasn't an accomplishment of, of just Canadians, but right. like you said, the nine countries. Countries from all around the world are involved. Mm -hmm. Just over my shoulder, all the way there through the clouds, is Eye of the Wind atop of Grouse Mountain. Trust us, it's, it is there. Jesse and I came downtown just for a little bit of perspective. That's right, Lyle. You know, there really is a lot of work going on here in Vancouver to keep Vancouver green. And uh, officials tell us that there is a plan underway to run Vancouver off of strictly renewable energy. It's pretty awesome. To find out more about how Vancouver is going green, you can check it out online. And remember to stick with wintergames.ap.org for all of your Olympics coverage.